train up like where we're waiting. The nah, hard train is it? I put one to my carry now when we start. You got to start playing up and coming Scottish bands before the podcast. Give them a wee bit of fucking playtime and shit. Who? What? See if you get any other bands in mind. The bands that I went to see last night, man, at the Akari gig, there was five of them. They were all really good. Tenement, Slow Renewal, um, Laser Eye. Uh, there's quite a few good, really good bands. Let's just get that out of your frame before anyone thinks I can play it. Oh, sorry, nobody can see you yet. I think Tenements are quite big actually. Tenements are, I, I don't know if they're big or no, but they're, they're fucking good. What? Like, great show last night, man. What? So what are the top, what are the topics again, what are we talking about again? Um, we'll get to them when we go in now. Don't want to put any mm. spoilers out when people can hear them. You can always use sign language, you know? <laughs> I, didn't, I, 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 I couldn't see you there, I had my League of Legends browser up there. <laughs> i done this. <laughs> yeah, we're taking the lights down a wee bit, man. We've still got a minute to go. But we're visible. Right, we we'll get a hang of like today, right? See when it gets to a good bit in a song. I like today close ups, right? So nice close up on your camera. Get right close to your camera, and then make a stupid face, right? Is this some sort of fucking meme that you try to do? Huh? Oh, it's concentrating. Oh you? no, the fucking hang broke. Of course it did. <laughs> ah. There we go. Is that, are you actually... Is that ten, actually the thumbnail? Ten <laughs> seconds and then it's in two, right? So, five, four, All right, we've three, three, two, two, one, intro. Fucking hype train <laughs> raped my intro, man. Fucking ear rape, hype train raped my intro. No, I mean, we've got to start with hi guys and welcome to the Indie Scots Scots with Soul podcast this week. It's our fiftieth episode. We've done it fa- for fucking fifty episodes, two weeks until it's a year. Thank you for that. Start there, Yaldi, that was awesome. But welcome, Yaldi time, how are you doing, dude? Welcome back. I'm doing alright. How are you? Dacast is with us, how are you doing, son? Just ignored my question. Good start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good, Yaldi, I'm doing very good. But how are you, Dacast, son? <laughs> I'm alright. I'm good. <laughs> Dacast was meant to be late tonight, but was an absolute legend and got his dad to pick up his girlfriend, so... Thank you, Dacast's father, well done. Thank you, Dacast's dad. True Scottish guy who has been out in the wilderness for a while, he stopped streaming for a bit, but welcome back to Twitch, dude. How are you? And welcome back to the podcast. I'm great, I'm great. My ears are still ringing with the intro, but I'm fine. (laughs) (laughs) You're raped right at the start, man. What a way to start. What a way to start. Completely not. Do I have my (laughs) Join in! Start a hype train. It's so ridiculous, the song on it, so it's ridiculous, far less the fucking ear rape version. But aye, welcome guys, and um, we'll start with our first topic this week. Uh, um, I'm going to start with Mozilla's new super secret web browser, and see what we think about this. Right. Oh aye. Mozilla, Ooh, are we going to confirm, ladies and gentlemen? It's a secret if we know about it. No, it's a super secret browser, so as you don't get caught watching porn or anything like that, right? Mozilla is, explo- uh, is exploring ways in which it can offer Firefox users an even more private browsing experience that goes above and beyond the cover- co- uh, current implementation. To do that, a new, a new super private browsing mode would tap into the Tor network 
to offer users a level of autonomy in addition to clearing out cookies and cache. Private browsing modes are nothing new. Every major browser has one. It's called incognito mode in Chrome, private browsing in Firefox, and in private browsing in both Edge and Internet Explorer. They are all similar in that each mode runs in a separate window and does not save your browsing history, cookies, site data, or information that you enter into forms. What private browsing modes uh, private browsing modes don't do, however, is make your presence on the web anonymous. Private browsing doesn't make you anonymous on the internet. Your internet service provider, employer or sites themselves can still gather information about the pages you visit. Private browsing doesn't protect you from keyloggers or spyware You may be in, that may be installed on your computer. Super, super private browser would take that an extra step. It would accomplish this by embedding Tor connectivity into Firefox. Tor, short for the onion router, is a network that masks a user's identity by routing and encrypting traffic across Tor servers. One of the downloads to Tor that is that all the routing comes at the cost of performance. Browsing can be slow in the Tor network. That is one of the things my fellow is looking at to see if it, this is feasible. So basically, like, they're looking to take... So it's like, you can use this browser at work and stuff like that without your gaffers and that catching on to it. So, like, what do you think about that? The it's just a long-winded way to say you can now jack off to the nastiest shit you can find on the internet. And no one's gonna judge you because they'll never find out. Because <laughs> nobody is this will find some, it. Is this another way to combat the fucking porn ban that's coming to the UK? Uh, uh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. If they if they can't if they can't track what you're watching, then they can't stop you watching it. The only way they can stop you watching it is, it, is by tracking what you're watching. Now, if what you're watching, like if stuff's banned in Europe and you're using this super secret private browser. They can't fucking tell you're in Europe, so therefore you're no subject to the European bans, i.e. Article 13. Listen so, here, Theresa May, I'll tell you what, I'm just watching toy review channels, not jacking off to dirty <laughs> bestiality porn. <laughs> I'm just trying to watch a fucking Twitch stream of somebody playing The Witcher for fuck's sake. Do you know what I mean? You can I'm see that being a problem. Sweet, man. But I, um, Brave, Brave Browser already does it. Brave Browser? What's Brave Browser? Brave Browser. What's Brave, Brave Browser? Is, uh, Starts Googling furiously. The, the guy that fucking, uh, the original <laughs> founder of Mozilla Firefox, he went away and made Brave Browser. That's I thought it was a, I thought it was a top secret browser getting onto the dark web or something. I use Brave Browser. It's a built-in uh, ad blocker as well. It's class. Aye, uh, ad blocker's like the best thing on the internet. You go up to your you mores and dads and you're watching telly on Sky and you're like, ah, what is this fucking seven minute thing between fucking? In the middle of a program, what is this? Seven minutes of bullshit, man. Like, Aye, it's got a built-in ad blocker, but um, you can turn on you can turn on certain ads, and then it just pops up as a wee notification. Like, I block it or something. Uh, aye, but when you aye. click, like if that notification pops up, it will pay you a wee bit. So it'll pay you like a couple of, I don't know, like 10, 10 cents or whatever each time one mm. pops up. Really? And then, you can automatically pay that into Twitch and YouTube channels that all choose to accept the donations. That's quite cool. That's quite handy, actually, to be fair. But uh, what's happening, uh, Kelly, Pigeon, Madcap, how are you doing? Welcome to the podcast, guys. I definitely think about... everyone's going to be on to VPNs like in the next few years. Oh, uh, definitely. Mm. I'm, I'm already thinking about getting one, I The moist toilet comment. Where's the moist toilet comment? Where's that? <laughs> I need a bunch of moist toilets. Toilet. Feeling <laughs> so moist. <laughs> so moist. Can I be a moist toilet? But I like. I think. I think it's a good thing, and it possibly could be a bad thing. Like. Right. Like. It's well, a good. Criminals like, might take advantage of it or something. Yes. Think about like the. Like, right. How are you going to catch these people that have got, or the? I don't want to say it, but you know what I'm talking about. Do you know what I mean? Like dodgy pictures and stuff like that on their computer of things that they shouldn't have pictures of. Do you know what I mean? Like stuff like that. How 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 are we going to find it with something like that in existence? I feel like Mozilla would sort of implement some sort of way of still tracking that sort of illegal shit. Yeah, like they they'll do something on their servers or somehow. But it doesn't Surely, say it. Like, it doesn't. I kind of feel like though these people will already be using Tor. Like the, the just the regular Tor browser anyway. If that's what they're, you know, what I mean, if that's what they're into, I feel like we're not going to see a sudden increase in people doing it just because it's now in Firefox. The thing is, if the government wanted to find out what was on your computer, they would have put some device on every computer that's ever built. You know what I mean? 
Now, does they say anything about um, Mozilla being able to track anything at all? Does they well, say anything about that? Mm. Because it, it would defeat know. the purpose of them saying how super secret and secure it was. It really would. Actually, I... we, we, actually, we can still see what you're doing. It's, it's super secret and, and unless, unless, unless we don't want We're it to be. doing some bad shit. <laughs> <laughs> but aye, like, I, I, I think it could be a good thing and a bad thing for that reason. Like, Article 13, it's a massive fuck you to Article 13. So, like, for that reason, I back it. But, I do like that. Aye, there's, there's problems that will that will come up with that, I think. But aye, um, anything else we've got to say on that, that topic? Anybody else? Not at all, man. No, um, download I've... Brave Browser. Download Brave Browser. <laughs> <laughs> that is Dakast. the fucking... shit. <laughs> Dakast recommendation, man. Download Brave Browser. You can donate to Twitch and snap and help Indy Scott's Brave Browser sounds like a, a dodgy fucking thing. Like I know it does. Download, download, <laughs> download the pirate copied fucking music or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounds like, to be honest. <laughs> Download Brave Browser to, to, to download free songs. <laughs> <laughs> but aye, right, we'll quickly we'll move on to the next subject then. We're going to move on for Dragon Ball fans, people who know Dragon Ball. So, Kelly, this well, one's that, for that, you, right? That's, that counts me out, man. I haven't watched Dragon Ball in years. I mean, I Dragon Ball Fighter Z it. is bringing Janemba to Fighter Z. All the Dragon Ball characters, they're bringing Janemba. They're bringing this dude. Right. I'm guessing he's the worst character in the in the lore. No, he's not the worst character. He's just a non-canon movie character. Look at this fucking right. Snorlax looking motherfucker. Who nobody cares about. That's him there in his <laughs> in his first forum, right? And here's his second forum. The cool form. He's second form. my dad on Ickies. His second form is pretty cool, <laughs> right? But like, it's Janemba. There's nothing really special about this guy. Do you know what I mean? Like, he was super, super powerful that Goku and Vegeta had defused to beat him a way back when. But that was a way back fucking when. Do you know what I mean? Like, how are they going to bring this guy in and, and implement the current power scale and then try... Do you know what I mean? It's like... They could, like Yaldi was saying earlier before the podcast, they can bring fan favourites like Master Roshi to the roster. But they're bringing... And when I mentioned this to Yaldi before the podcast, he says, who the fuck's Janemba? He had to look him up beforehand. So it just shows you even some, like, dedicated Dragon Ball fans don't even know who the fuck this guy is. So, like, Who's what characters would you... Do they even film? care, to be fair? No. I don't really care. When they no. make me go out and get the game. Do you know what no. I mean? But um, who's no who's no in the game that you would like to see in the game? Da- Dakast or Yaldi? Roshi. Roshi. Roshi, Roshi obviously. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. um... I want to see Superman as a guest character. Even, I, would take, like, I would take even Satan. Like I would take him. But Mr. Satan just coming in and be like, mm, Mr. Satan, yeah. Aye. Like just coming in and just being like, I can't eat Denton. Because like, he like, wasn't Budokai. Aye, like in Budokai, he comes out with his wee jetpack and he tries to drop bombs at your feet and all that as key blasts. <laughs> and he'll, aye, like bring back Mr. Satan, man. Like he's, he's the fan favourites, the funny fan favourites. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, fuck, he would be amazing to be fair. Aye, he Hercule. Hercule is. Well, I, would, I want him as... to come out and do like no damage, just one punch. Like he's. Heather Mental really Jester fast. says Janemba looks like Pikachu fucked Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> it does a wee <laughs> bit. Done it. We'll just click back to it there so as people can see what we're talking about. But Jabba the Hutt mixed with Pikachu. <laughs> that sounds like a really bad combination. <laughs> it was. It was. It didn't yeah. does, his arms are like three times the length of his feet and leg- or his legs. Look. <laughs> Aye, he just kind of wobbles a bit and... Janemba, 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 Janemba. <laughs> Is he no just like a console Majin Boo? A what? Basically, aye. Aye, pretty much <laughs> aye. Like, like, who, who got brought to Fighter Z with the GT update? Who for the GT? Just Goku, GT Goku. GT. Rather than fucking regular kid Goku, which is what everybody wanted. Um, they didn't bring Super Saiyan 4, which again, everybody wanted. Um... Aye, I'd like so to see a Super Saiyan 4. Who is I like Super Saiyan 4. <laughs> they put Super Saiyan 4 in his ultimate ability, though. Alexa! Ah, d- shut up! Put half our safe up, man. Uh, he comes out and does one dragon punch, and that's it. It's a cutscene. It's a cutscene. It's no over. Aye. Like, I feel like they've done this just to be like, look, here's some characters you don't know about. Look, hey! I, I think there's not even canon bullshit characters. Here you go. So let me get this straight. You're not going to buy the game because there's a character in the game that you don't like. 
No, they they own oh, the I've game. The games game. already out. Game's been out for years. I've, I've right. got fucking two copies. <laughs> like I, I they could can, really I, I, I can two copies, right. see if they're looking to bring a controversial character to the roster, right? I mean, Janemba, nobody really knows about it, right? Um, I've got Android 17. Bring fucking, oh, bring Ribrienne to the fucking roster. Do you know what I mean? The fucking, the, the community would be up in fucking arms, man. Some cunts would be going, hey, Ribrienne, power of love. And every, the other half would be going, fucking. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But they could, they could bring so many characters for the tournament of power. I know they've already brought Sharon. I wanted Ribbon to die. Yes, I wanted Ribrian to die to be as well. The one that died and someone got disqualified. But think about how fun it would be coming up against Ribrian with Broly and you just punch her fucking cunt in. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Tori Ama, why do you hate us? <laughs> why do you hate us? So but bad? I did I did like what Android 17 done to Ribrian in the tournament of power. Ribrian's up there trying to power up. Ah! Android 17's like that. Boof! <laughs> Every cunt's like that. You don't hit somebody when they're powering up. She's like, she's wide fucking open. <laughs> it's a oh. tournament, man. Aye, that, that was good to finally have that fucking... To have somebody do that, I know. Aye. I know. It's like fucking, we all had to deal with the Freezer saga where Goku stands like this for 16 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Freezer never misses. once... And then he misses, aye. Do you know what I mean? But Freezer never once punched him in the belly. So well done, Android 17. Maybe uh, it was just because it was Ribrian. He's like, I can't be asked by her powering up and shouting mere things at me. She's going to get me happy. She's going to she's gonna shout more things at me, man. Ghostly Grimoire's saying he should add Poir. I'd take Poir. Poir would be quite think... good. Because, like, he could, he could add Poir, right? And, like, Poir could turn into anybody he wanted. Imagine po- imagine Poir was born a saint. Shape shifting abilities, <laughs> <laughs> or born like fucking like more powerful than an earth cat. Do you know what I mean? They could shape shift and take people's powers. Imagine that, like um, what was the sounds the, fucking mysterious. What was me. the green uh, the purple goo hang and super that made a copy of Vegeta? Quite like that, something like that. They could oh, make. Uh, uh, fuck, I Remember that episode where they they make a fucking the goo pretends it's Vegeta and it's pure beating fuck out of oh. Vegeta and all that. Aye, they could do something like that with Pierre, a shapeshift or somebody that takes these powers, but then Poir's Poir. They would just have him in there Wasn't as a, like, um, a Yamcha support, wouldn't they? No, that was in Super, was it no? Was it, was it in Super? Mm-hmm. It was like a, super uh, Saiyan. It was like a sup- spin-off like, thing from the main story, though. Aye, aye, but it was still in Super. Aye. <laughs> but I, I reckon like, they'll save all the fan favourites for know. a sequel at this rate. Wait for another Dragon Ball Z Fighter Z two or something like that. You think? Ah, uh, yeah. I reckon if if they don't do a season three, it's a guaranteed sequel. Because otherwise, why Jamaica? Gen- <laughs> Ginyu Squad, um, fucking Captain I- Ginyu already has the Ginyu Squad. It's alright. Is the Ginyu Squad in the game? Aye. Well, you can play as Captain Ginyu, and you can his key blast ability just summons people from the. Oh, Ginyu right, I keep on meaning to get that Dragon Ball Fighters. Is it any good? It it's it does look really good, but I'm really bad at fighter games. That's why I've decided not to get it. No, the only only fighter game I used to be good at was Soul Calibur, and I was that. I think I'd have the diecast experience of Dragon Ball Fighter Z. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> 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 as much as it pisses me off, I fucking can't get enough of it. That's why I, that's why I bought two copies. I play it and switch all the time. My favorite Dragon Ball game was always Budokai Three. Budokai Three was fucking the pinnacle, man. It was so. I think good. the only Dragon Balls you ever played is Xenoverse, and that was that. Xenoverse was why the worst ones. So I'd really Xenoverse was all right, but it was. It was I like the whole concept of a whole RPG type fucking thing. Aye, you know, but it didn't need to be like. Yeah, you look forward to E3 then, because there's supposed to be a new Dragon Ball RPG coming out. Mm. The only uh, thing I'll I'll about Dragon RPG Ball, that I want, I want to to get made is a fucking Game of Thrones one. A Game of Thrones that RPG. Jump Force was basically yes. Verse Three, was it no? Jump Game Force. Of Thrones. It was um, fucking what was it? Basically, all the shonen animes in it. Ah, right, right, right. A Game of Thrones RPG would have been fucking good. Aye, but there like, already was one. The, there was a Game there, of Thrones. Um, going to get made. Um, HBO approached Bethesda to make one, and they said no. Uh, they they refused it because they were in like Skyrim at the time. One as well? Because HBO showed them the the. Game of Thrones script and we're like, oh, whoa, that's shit. 
<laughs> no, no, no. No, the, the HBO approached um, Bethesda to do a, a, a Skyrim, like, a Skyrim a open world here? type fucking Game of Thrones game. Have you, you know, have uh, you does anybody watch Game of Thrones here? I do. No. Nope. Like Game of Thrones is going through such a fucking hate. They're just getting so much hate in the final season. So much hate in the final season. I've never season. seen the final season, so don't bloody tell me. It's getting <laughs> so much fucking hate. The way people are describing it is like they ran out of book material around about the start of season five. And like I, I'm tend to, I tend to agree with them. It's like watching some a fucking fan finish a finish the, the series, man. It's oh, just it's way downhill, man. Oh, so man. like I think so. Everyone any... complaining about one like battle where everyone was just going in. Uh, the yeah, yeah, there's one particular yeah. scene in one particular one of the episodes in the final season where something happens and the fans don't fucking like it. Uh, I'm, not gonna say, I'm not going to say why. I'm not going to spoil it. I've heard that. I've heard that. that is that not the last seats episode there? It's just. It's, about it's it? just. It's like it's not really a spoiler, right? Um, it's the thing that everybody's up arms about with that is yeah, see when you've got a, when you've got a castle to defend, you put everybody inside the fucking castle. And you defend the walls and shit. Well, they put their fucking army outside the castle. You're like, yeah, they build trenches and shit. That's no spoiler. That actually happens in the first. You're like, like god damn it, man. But I, the Game of Thrones went downhill. So like, I think if there's going to be a Game of Thrones RPG, they need to let Big Georgie finish the books and then use his source material before somebody else royally fucks well, it up. Well, as well. I said, Esther got approached by HBO to make one. Aye, but uh, they pumped it down because the they were making Skyrim at the time. Oh, so was, it, no. was it that long ago they approached It was them? that long ago, yeah. Yeah, that's when Game of Thrones started, 2011. Aye, uh, when Game of Thrones was going And, off, and, and they got approached by by HBO to, you know, to make a game. And they said no, because we're making Skyrim at the time. And Who would your HBO, main character be then? HBO approached them again and said, could you make the game? And apparently they said, aye, they're going to go ahead with it. Like, what would but you make they, as your they characters? said it was going to be like a Skyrim type game where you create your own character and you join different factions, like the. the or you could choose, choose, where, like choose where you were born and stuff like that. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. 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 the Targaryens and shit like that. Mm. Aye, aye, you're right. You're like someone anyway, existing anyway. within the world. Mm. Aye. Like, what I was thinking is maybe it would be something along the lines of The Witcher, where you've got the character designed and all that ready for you, and they've mm. got one for each house. Do you know what I mean? Aye. Like the north, aye, the western lands, the fucking reach. The do you know what I mean? They've got one for each house, and you could choose what you want to play. But then that makes the game huge. It makes the game fucking massive. Do you know what I mean? And considering how big I, Game I, of Thrones played, is as well. I played huge RPGs. I mean, huge. I'm talking about World of Warcraft. Game of, fucking huge. Game of Thrones would fucking dwarf them all. It really yeah. would. It would dwarf but the them thing all. is, and it, it has to be made perfectly. It has to be made properly. You know, all these things sound good on fucking paper, but when they, when they go to make it, it, it just. It just turns on its fucking head, by the way, you know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> HBO have proved that. But, um, <laughs> right, we'll move on. Um, have we seen um, Ubisoft have put in what's called Return Friendly Fire into Rainbow Six Siege? Have we seen this? You pay microtransactions and then when you get shot in the arse by your teammate, they get killed. You pay so 10 bucks it's... to get your health restored? So it's 10 bit <laughs> per shot. <laughs> right, well... And then you get a loot box. Rainbow Six's reverse friendly fire system is live, right? Rainbow Six has been uh, Rainbow Six Siege has been trying to figure out what to do about friendly fire and team killing for a long time now. This week, Ubisoft rolled out a solution that's been mulling over for a while: reverse friendly fire. Simply put, reverse friendly fire, or RFF for short, reflects damage done to teammates back onto the attacker. It's activated when a player kills a teammate. Then the downed player either confirms that the kill was done intentionally or forgives the attacker. A confirmed team kill triggers the RFF effect, and further damage done to teammates by that attacker is absorbed by the source of the damage. So after killing a teammate, if you shoot a friendly player, you'll take whatever damage they would have taken. And if you damage, uh, if use a damage dealing gadget like Twitch's shock drone or Maestro's evil eye camera, the damage will reflect it back onto the gadget. This solves the problem of a create of created. What? This solves the problem of created by the system that automatically kicks players on their second team kill. If a 5v5 ga- in a 5v5 game, griefers were routinely able to effectively throw matches by killing two friendlies and then getting booted, giving the opposing team a 5v2 advantage. But accidents do happen and not everyone is careful around players' fields of fire, and this new system allows for that. It should be, be noted... Honest, that sounds like a great idea, to be fair. It does. Um, 
it should be noted that current RFF system automatically tallies total damage done to teammates, so it's not strictly necessary for a down teammate to validate a team kill to activate RFF effects. If a player passes a certain threshold of friendly damage, the RFF will, RFF effect will kick on in its own. Ubisoft says the final version of RFF system and that they will continue to consider community feedback as they fiddle with it. The sheer number of different operators in Siege makes this system fairly complicated in practice and Ubisoft has a breakdown of how oh RFF God. works at the official Siege blog. I'll take that and just put the fucking that in chat for people who want to go read it. But I, what do you think about that? It's pretty. It's it's a decent idea, ain't it? They're along the right pretty lines. Yeah. Good. It starts out fucking griefers to try and team kill, and the, the damage reflects on yourself instead of Aye. the teammate. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. I think you should implement that in fucking basically every. Do you play Siege, true Scottish guy? No, I play Counter Strike. All ah, right. Does anybody here play and... Siege? No. No. Because I, I was hopefully somebody did, but um, it must be a problem then. Because um, people would like, oh no, oh, we're not going to win this game. Brr, 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 brr. Do you know what I mean? Kill two of your teammates. It's a pretty shitty move. So, aye, well done for Ubisoft. Why are the only things fucking Why good things that Ubisoft that? done? See, so, yeah, I think I think a CS:GO approach to team killing would be better. What's but, that? See, when you shoot someone in spawn in CS:GO, you get you got automatically kicked and you get banned for thirty minutes. <laughs> but. That's a bit harsh. Or 24 hours. That's a bit harsh. Do you know what I mean? Like, But it but it stops it, man. It stops it. I'm telling you, it does. Ah, but you can't ever laugh with your mate, like, shoot him a few times. <laughs> Do you know what I'm I mean? I'm on top of it in rank matches and shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Hey, Coding Noob. Team Kill well, was a did... massive issue when the game first released. There you go. Thank you, Coding Noob, why for that. Why did they not just turn it off? I think Come because um, Siege is... That's not realistic, Darkest. Yes, I think this, that's what the Siege, the Siege players are looking for. I think they're looking for that extra bit of realism do you know what I mean mm. the game to feel I real so I, I think it's a good idea for it I really do like turning it off I think would change the game too much do you know what I mean because then you could just shoot through your friends you could just shoot over his shoulder no care if you're missing shots into him whereas you've got to be extra tactical do you know what I mean one person crouching you've got to the team calls have got to all be perfect to avoid the friendly fire the way it would be in real life and I think that's what people are looking for in Siege aye so, aye, for that effect, it's a great implementation. Mm-hmm. I think it is. And there's coding noob, yeah, just to keep the simulation feel. Elemental Jester says, I may be wrong, but they didn't, did they not implement something like that in Call of Duty 4, although it was called Reflect or Ricochet? I don't know. I don't know. I've not played no, COD 4 for ages. Madcap says, at the time, a, a lot of the time people that get damaged by friendly fire are just idiots that have no sense of self-awareness and positioning and just run into the field of fire. Yes, like me. <laughs> I do that a lot. You're stunning in my way. I'm going to stun in your way. <laughs> 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 but aye, it's this dope shit like that, do you know what I mean? So, I, I do like it. I do like it. Anybody else get any thoughts on it before we move on to the next subject? I'm just saying, I would never hit the forgive button. I would always... <laughs> 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 I'm just... it, it, so, it, it sounds like when, when somebody shoots you in fucking GTA, you can have the choice uh, to forgive. Even or if it was an accident, you're fucking getting it. <laughs> 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 there's, there's trolls on either side, man. You're just going to see trolls now that are just never going to forgive, like Yaldi. Like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, shouldn't they have shot me? <laughs> I, I <don't> <laughs> they've, they've, brought the, they've brought this new this new mode in to be like ah this will sort out the trolls and it's like nah no you're just going to have the trolls fucking doing it to everybody do you know what I mean like regardless of whether or not it was an accident so. aye like he shot me once to turn around the fire get it on <laughs> exactly. but then but then they're, they're, um, you're going to have like fucking a lot more problems you know what I mean like it opens up another can of worms so like I will see Someone how it develops I'm going to be spending the next like 10 minutes of that match trying to bait them into shooting me again (laughs) (laughs) go on you go then fucking shoot me then go on see see, like as you guys mentioned like if you shoot someone the damage reflects on yourself right Mm -hmm. but wouldn't people not go just go afk but that going if like it said once a certain damage threshold is received like if you take one shot after somebody Mm. i think you can you can trigger it manually right you can go, that cunt shot me, and he meant it, mm-hmm. right? Or if you're AFK and the guys just try to shoot you until you're dead to get you off the field or whatever, it'll reach a certain threshold. I'm guessing it'll be about right. 50%, right? Didn't tell us. I'm guessing it'll be about 50%. So you hit 50% damage, maybe 30% or something like that, and then you'll start taking the damage back. Because so I've heard a lot about Rainbow Six Siege and it is fucking worse 
for people shooting you in the back and shit. It's because of all the wee tight angles and, do you know what I mean? You see a lot of people try to knock the wee tiny holes through the wall and then there's mm. two people try to look through mm. the wall and, aye, it's like, it, it's, it'll drive the teams to communicate more, like, instead of, get the fuck out my way or whatever, do you know what I mean? It'll be like, come on, nah, maybe it'll make it more toxic, I don't know. I'm just there on the side of fucking reason, do you know what I mean? Like... Can I just say that's why I don't play Rainbow um, Six? I'm in for, I'm in for a ban. Punch a tiny uh, hole. Yeah, I'm in for a ban of 30 minutes, man. If people are going to yeah. troll that. So you'd go for the 30 minute ban? Rather I go. Than... I would go for the CSGO fucking uh, type thing. Like when somebody shoots you, you get kicked from the game and you get banned for like 10 hours or something. I don't, I don't know what it is. It might have changed it or something. But then the, in, in Rainbow Six Siege... Then it's a seven day ban, is it? Like um, Coden Noob, if you're still in the ga- in the in the chat, could, how long does it take to if somebody leaves the game? How long does it take for them to be, be replaced? Like on average in Rainbow Six Siege, because if you're going to kick people, or they have join session in progresses in that game. Aye, but how long does it take to get in? Do you know what I mean? It's not going to happen. I don't think so. Well, there's 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 why they're not kicking folk because in a, in a ranked match you're going to lose a man, which is worse than getting the man to stop shooting you. Do you know what I mean? Because he'll stop shooting you as he's taking damage for you and he'll actually go start playing the game or that's the hope. Do you know what I mean? I think you need to wait till the game is finished, Jeff. Thank you, Coden. I don't no- think that's, uh, that um, Rainbow Six Siege has like joint session progress in the middle of rank matches and stuff. Aye, well, there, Coden Noob says, yeah, um, I until, didn't know that. I didn't until you can fill the space. See? I you, thought you when to- somebody gets kicked, you're, you're a man down for the rest of the game. Aye, you're a man down for the rest of the match, it looks like. So that's why they've brought in the return friendly fire rather than the kick option. Mm. I take it in Counter Strike, the, the guy just gets replaced really quickly. No, no if, you, if you shoot somebody in spawn. And you kill them, you get, you just get kicked. You just get kicked. But I think you have to wait like a couple of minutes when you're in the game. I but I mean, does see the see, see, see the place that the guy get kicked from? Does that get filled right. with another body no. or a bot? As it's yeah, a bot, it's, it's a a bot, bot. and you can take control of that bot. You just press F. Yeah, you get in and you mash so X. So when, and so when you, you get killed, two. you get killed, and there's a bot still alive. You can press F on that bot, and you can take control of the bot. Mm-hmm. That's madness. That is madness. Yeah, at, at the start of everyone, every round, you'll have every cunt shouting, right, hold position, hold position, hold position, hold, because the AI will listen to that and then stay. <laughs> <laughs> hold position and then don't say any more words. The AI's just spawning right, it, you're spawning it, it spawn like that. X2, X2, X2. X2. This. <laughs> the, the thing is, like, when you see me in playing CS4 and, somebody, and you say to someone, just do not say a word. They're coming around the corner, don't say a word. And somebody flicks F1, one of the commands, follow me. Oh, shit, that's us. Right. <laughs> <laughs> shit, that's us. We've been rumbled, guys. But did, did, would it not be better to have an, an AI fully in your boot? Like, it might get you caught as you're no. trying to hide and stuff no, like that. the AI is fucking dumb as shit. But it's mere it? bullets heading towards the enemy. No, it's not. You've not seen a source AI, have you? No. <laughs> 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 Mate, fair it's enough. like watching, a, <laughs> watching your, your wee like fucking 12 year old sister like try and play a video game how do you move the camera where's <laughs> the shoot button know. they're turning their bodies they fucking try to turn corners and that somebody asked me how to reload and i went seriously how do you reload it'll be r on a keyboard wouldn't it i don't i don't play keyboard so i'd i'd, I'd be asking that question if yeah, i was playing knows. on keyboard you know what i mean r for but... reload Oh, well, I got it right. Yes! No total retard. Yes, boys. Um, we'll move on to the next subject anyway. Have we seen the new John Wick game that's been released? I have. Not my cup of tea, but... I really like the look of it. I really I like, like the, the art style, though, but it's not my cup of tea. The look. art style is really quite nice as well, but I think it's going to be a really fun game. I mean, I love turn-based, stra- turn-based games, and this is fucking... It's a turn-based game? Turn-based. It, mate, it's like XCOM. Um, we'll watch the trailer first. Why? Right? The only <laughs> Nothing about John Wick is turn based. He said that combat is like a game of chess. I want to see John Wick as a VR game, by the way. <laughs> John Wick super hot. I'll just get the fucking I'll just get the job interview suit out the fucking wardrobe and put on the fucking VR goggles there, I'm John Wick. Yeah. I'm sorry, but like John Wick is a that movie that goes for about 20 minutes and then it's non-stop for about an hour and a half of just shooting. At what point is there stopping involved? 
Somebody, somebody uploaded a clip on YouTube of, of John Wick in, a, in the club, shooting everybody. And underneath the a clip, there's a caption and it says, this is, this is CSGO on PC. <laughs> <laughs> Looks really shit, by the way. I think it looks really good. I don't I like. Get, this. Is it not made by an indie studio? It, it looks like it's been made by. It's indie made studio. by. It's, it's made by the people who made Thomas was alone. Whoever the fuck that was. It doesn't tell you. Uh, Bitchel Games, but Bethel Games, Bethel Games. They make good games. What is this? Thomas Thomas was alone as an endearing, emotionally complex platformer. Uh, right, that's Thomas alone, right? Um, John Wick is a movie about a guy who commits international mass murder because. Theon Greyjoy off off his dog. It is Theon fucking Greyjoy who off his dog as well. It's the guy who plays Theon. Theon Greyjoy, Greyjoy with a Russian accent. <laughs> Hi, with a Russian what accent. What did what do they have in common? Bethel Games, which made the jumping box game, is now making one based on stylish action films. Surprisingly, given the subject matter, John Wick's Hex is not a shooter, but a fast-paced, action-orientated strategy game that looks a bit like XCOM, but with simplified visuals and a more up-close and personal combat. Have you ever kicked a mutant, a muton in the junk? No, I've never kicked a muton in the junk. I, that does sound good. It, <laughs> it will tell a new original story set in the John Wick like universe, that. featuring voice, uh, voice work from Ian McShane, Winston and Lance Redrick, Karen, uh, through the players through which the players will unlock new weapons, suit options and locations in which and fight choreographed chess br fight choreographed chess brought to life as a video game. Is there actually any dialogue in this game? Oh aye, there'll be dialogue in the fucking Is game. Is Keanu Reeves in it? No, Keanu Reeves is not gonna be in it. Don't expect to see Keanu okay. Reeves. So it's He's got Keanu Reeves face, but it's gonna have a different fucking voice. That's a bit shit, isn't aye, it? I'll probably have a different voice, aye. You don't think you really think they're gonna to manage to secure Keanu Reeves for a a fucking a wee indie game? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, bollocks. I'll give you, give Keanu will give you fifty quid. I'm sorry, this is just straight bollocks, like I, I, I'm tend to agree with you, I'll do a wee bit. I'm like with such a high budget film, I just feel like I see what they're going what? for. I can see why it's like they want you to think strategically like John Wick would think in the movie. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, nobody, nobody goes to watch John Wick to you know what I mean? Nobody's watching John Wick. I bet you Wick. any money you can play uh, it as like fast as fuck. Mind John Wick has. I like, bet you any just... money you can play it fast as fuck. Do you know what I mean? Like you're thinking it's gonna be really slow and methodical. I bet you any money you can play it as fast as fuck. I bet you any money you can queue up things if you've got enough action points at a certain time and there's six people in front of you you could take them out before they even know you're there click the things and stack why can we up. not just have a big fast fluid third person shooter then it's, it's because gonna, you're not going to feel like john wick you're not going to feel like everything's sims, executed it? it's going to be like the sims first i want to go to the toilet then i want to make myself something to eat then i want to wash my fucking underwear then i want to go to sleep that's, that's what a like. simulation game not a strategy game <laughs> <laughs> i would do a front roll into like cover then pop up, shoot cunts in the head, get shot in the back, turn around, shoot them, and then go. <laughs> Pat out the fucking bullet, bullets out my, my suit, <laughs> then run off. <laughs> the go in. Right, we're it turning corner. Like... There's a man. Shoot. They, Keanu is such a boss, though. I'd bet you'd do it if so, they asked him. Pan's gaming says that. Um, I do. I, maybe Keanu is. Keanu Reeves is a down to earth guy. Maybe if they asked him, he would do it if he had time. <laughs> But I really feel Making like. The Matrix a strategy game. Do you do you think they asked them? Do you think they asked them? I don't know. A Matrix strategy in the order. I don't think it. they would have had the boss to ask him. I really don't. The Matrix. Pull this trailer back up. Has it got his likeness in it? Yes, it's got his cartoon likeness in it. Aye. It's got his face in it. Somebody's sketchy his face. If, if he's got his likeness, then he's had to sign something it for it. He said that combat is like mm. a game of chess. Mm -hmm. his face. It just kind of seems Who's like they're trying too Who's hard to make it. Like, they could have done a third person shooter, but I feel like it would have made it really difficult to stand out. They would have made a John Wick. Yeah. Who just stood out as John Wick? <laughs> I mean, but it's, I, I, it's just John Wick at the end of the day. He's drowned in all the crap. other. You know, uh, you I, seen would, I, know, I would, like, like, I would there. like a John Wick game with a Max Payne fucking style shit. Look at that animation. Can't even reload a gun with it looking like he's a fucking scarecrow. <laughs> there it is, yeah. It's kind of his likeness. Top right of the screen. Oh. Aye. Aye. Man. Aye. It's quite... The thing is, the fucking John Wick's also got a fucking licensing crossover with Fortnite, so it's either Fortnite or this. For John Wick fans, well, I, I suppose. Yeah, his face is in, is in Fortnite. I forgot about that. 
I think they're doing another one for uh, John Wick 3. I don't know. Once the Marvel one's out the road, they, they've got another John Wick mode coming out, I think. Aye. Like, I like I really like the look of it, but I'm a sucker for strategy games. But I, I totally understand people's frustration that it's no a fast-paced FPS or third-person shooter. Do you know what I mean? I get that. I get that. Like, Have you why? seen the John Wick VR game? <laughs> no. Is there one? Yeah. Aye. I'm sure there is. Can you Aye. stick the link Aye, in chat now, Dave? Just pure fucking mental going... There, there, is a, there is a John Wick game out. I'll find it. I, I, I want to find VR, that. I want to play that. John Wick I was VR. Thinking, I was thinking that earlier, playing uh, Pavlov. I was thinking, man, see if he just does something like super hot. That'd yeah, it's amazing. the John Wick Chronicles. So it is. John Wick Chronicles, it's called. Yeah, there's, a, there's, a, there's an like army. On, there's an online army game for VR and shit. Oh is there a God. fucking short trailer? There right, we go, a, there's a it's short a, it's trailer. A, it's, a, it's, a fucking, it's a military game, but it's online, and you've got the VR goggles and on that and shit, and you shoot other people. Right, here's John Wick VR. Reload your gun now. Onward. I think. Oh, if this looks good, I'm going to buy it when I come out. Well, well, I can't. I have no money, but well, at some point, I'm going to buy it. So he does. He starts at the hotel. That is good. good. Where's the receptionist? It's not even the same. Get oh, over yeah, actually. <laughs> I'm sitting watching on the, on the screen here. Fuck, that was like Hitman in that and else. Oh, nice stuff cover. An eye for an eye. Nothing about that to me you scream John Wick other than the reception. That just bog standard VR Yeah, shooter. that that's the point I was trying like, to make there, Darkast. Is like, how do they the make a first shit. person, a third person shooter that makes you feel like uh, John Wick? That, that's, do you know exactly, what I mean? that's what I said earlier. I it would just get drowned out like anything else. Like two seconds. Do you know what I mean? It's just like see how Just Cause is fun for three hours, and then you get bored of it, bored of it. Like, I think that's what a John Wick game would feel like. You'd have all these powers, but you wouldn't be able to feel like John Wick. Like you'd... You would but need to get to the right developer. But I, I so, uh, that's so who would I you can... give it to then? Who would you give it to? Me I, personally, I, I'd give it to Insomnia. Rockstar. Rockstar. I'd get to Insomnia. Rockstar. Fucking love Insomnia. I wouldn't get to Rockstar. Uh, you, they, Insomnia, I can I just imagine a John Wick game as a Max Payne type fucking thing. Ah, well, See, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on the lines like of that. GTA, but, I'm with you with yeah, that. Mm -hmm. With, uh, with a little bit of a break game, I would give it to them. Sorry, Sorry I'll have to say again. The guys that made the Quantum Break game. Uh, Remedy. I'd give it to them. Maybe. Who's, who's Insomnia called? Is that a Ratchet and Clank and Sunset Overdrive it's, and all that? Uh, Insomnia, Ratchet and Clank, um, Resistance Clank Games. Did, did, maybe get to them. Uh, right. Insomnia, right. Aye, the Spider-Man games, no, that. After Spider-Man, maybe, yeah. They're a really good mm. development company. I really, really like Insomnia games. Mm. To be fair, eight, all three of them would be all right. Madcap Depends, says... If they go to Max Payne, if they go to Max Payne, it just becomes another... It just becomes Max Payne. Max Payne. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. It just becomes Max Payne. Mac, uh, Madcap says, the game will probably involve playing back everything you did in, the, in real time after you complete the level. So you will be able to make instant strategical tactical decisions at your leisure and then get to witness the carnage you carried out in real time as a reward. If they don't do that, then they've fucked up. That's <laughs> 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 madcap's input. <laughs> I do agree with him though, like, if they'd done that, that would be really nice, do you know what I mean? You play through it strategically and then you get to watch it all in a wee cutscene like that. Yes, that's fucking John Wick. What have you got to say, Yaldi? Sorry, Sam. It just feels like to me because it's an indie company that's doing it. I feel like they're doing a strategy game because it's easier to make that rather than you know a third uh, person shooter. It's easier to fuck that up. Uh, I I I do agree with you. I think that might be a, a big factor. Yeah, it could be. I they've went the cheap route. But at the same time, we're getting a fucking John Wick game. Yes. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, it can it be I'll bad? Buy. I'll buy it. Right. You, can, you can watch me play it, right? <laughs> I might buy it just because it's John Wick, even though I hate fucking games like that. Aye. But see, talking about how it's a strategy game, kind of like a wee bit like XCOM, have we seen that NASA have launched a satellite called the XCOM satellite this week? Are they XCOM fans? Are they XCOM fans by any chance? It's no, it's no, it's nothing to do with XCOM. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the fucking the XCOM developer went on and was like, what? You're just launching your satellite? Like, what if, they, if he's found alien life and all that on his Twitter account? It was quite funny, man. But, uh, no, it's called the... Uh, 
It stands for X-ray Communication Satellite. Um, not to alarm anyone, but it seems like the XCOM program has officially launched into Earth Lord, but we're sure it's just uh, it's just fine, and it does not necessarily indicate a certain doom at the hands of hostile alien entities. Actually, the XCOM that lifted off from Kennedy Space Center on May 4th was part of the suite of experiments dis- destined for the International Space Station. The ver- this version stands for the X-ray Communication, and is meant to demonstrate NASA and the Naval Research lab- Laboratory's ability to use X-ray band uh, communication for signal transmission but the name rang a bell for Jake Solomon the designer of XCOM and XCOM 2 <laughs> as his tweet like wait what? you <laughs> had to get in there at you're some point you're launching what? <laughs> <laughs> he had to he had to but I like um, X-ray communication X-rays go through and there's such a such a long bandwidth that they pass through things so like why are they putting an X-ray? Why why are we communicating with X-rays when we really don't need to? Like the distance, the X-rays are for like shite. X-rays would be used for communicating between places like Earth and a colony in Jupiter. We don't have fucking colonies in Jupiter. We need nah, plans we're not, for we're stuff. Not that like advanced that. enough for that shit. We we'll don't. Get, we'll get a well high. Hey, mm-hmm, does NASA? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did NASA make another flat Earth somewhere else as a massive experiment? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Is the Earth just a Dyson sphere and it's just covered in shit so we can't see out? Don't tell me this conversation's going to go to the flat Earth theory now. No, no, I was just throwing flat Earth in there for every bit of comic relief. <laughs> it's like Chicken Little. Chicken Little, fucking Chicken Little. Uh, the Earth is flat, <laughs> aye, my car runs some dog shit. <laughs> We're in a Dyson sphere. <laughs> Chicken Little, that was the one that was fucking, that was like Wallace and Gromit, went it? It was the stop animation I film. Mind. Uh, I'm sure well, I it was. Mind. I thought it was like an, it was an, like an animated one and then the sky fell down or some shit. Uh, aye, that's, aye, that's what I mean, but it was the creators of Wallace and Gromit that made it. That's why they had the mad fucking long moves and all that. <laughs> I remember going to see that in the pictures from my mom and dad. That's how long ago that fucking was, man. Holy shit. I think remembering Chicken Little. <laughs> Oh, no, that was Chicken Run. Right, right. Elemental Jester's got it there, man. Why we in a Hoover? Why why, why, why we in a Hoover? All right, because Yaldi's mic started to fucking crack up a wee bit there. I get it, I get it. Um, going to move on to the next subject anyway. Next subject is EA are looking to change their marketing strategies after the bomb of Anthem. Can I just say you are frozen? Oh, it's my connection, my connection. Oh, fuck, you've unfreezed. Holy shit. Aye, my connection's a wee bit red. It'll stabilise soon. It'll stabilise soon. I think I think it was just the servers on Discord. Aye, aye, aye. I think it needs some gigawatts, baby. But did, any, <laughs> did anybody here get Anthem? Did anybody here get it? Yes. No, yes. I was about okay, to no. get it, and then I was no. like, fucking no. Not a fucking chance. I hate all those kind of games, man. I, I was Destiny, I was about... I was interested See, I was interested in it. in it because I do love Destiny. I just wanted to give people get a wee bit of time to see what it was like and see what the the, the feeling of the communities and stuff like that was of it, and it was obviously wanting to avoid, so I fucking avoided it. Um, but I here's the article about this, right? The Anthem release there. has apparently led EA, EA to reconsider how it launches large scale online games. Right? I read an article during the week that they're looking to do with disc co- looking to do away completely with disc copies as well. EA, right? Electronic Art. Electronic Arts acknowledged during its Q4 FY2019 financial crisis conference oh call God. that Anthem... Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, mate, you sound like RTD too. Aye, but I will only sound like that to the stream. Uh, which I expected to be one of the biggest releases of the year. Did, did not live up to expectations. Despite all its problems, EA reaffirmed support for both the game and the developer Bioware. But it also... Aye, oh we're, we're, the servers are fucking... They do this sometimes. EA reaffirmed support for both the game and the developer Bioware, but it also said that the experience has led it to realise that it starts. It needs to start handling large live service game releases differently than it has in the past. The reality is, it's not just an EA challenge, it's an industry-wide challenge. CEO Andrew, w- Andrew Wilson said during the call, <laughs> referencing the dic- dis- dif- difficulties of creating and operating large-scale open-world games like Anthem, you're moving from what was initially a Bioware game, which would be somewhere between 40 and 8 hours of offline play, to 48 hours of offline play plus 1 to, th- one to 300 hours of Elder game, which happens with millions of other players at scale online. 
that obviously that obviously has an impact on, on development and QA process. But EA is also examining how it prevent, presents new games to potential audiences, with an eye towards managing expectations. Wilson said that in Asia, major online games generally go through a soft launch and multiple community tests before everything goes live, which was which enables EA to get a better idea of how they'll behave at scale. In, w in the West, however, major publishers have stuck with older conventions of drip feed approach to marketing to build up an appetite and excitement for the game that leads straight into release. As games have gotten bigger, that system isn't working as well as it has done in years gone by. So what you should expect from us is not just about changing the development process in the game. It's not just about changing the QA process in the game, although those things are both being changed dramatically inside our organisation right now, but it also comes down to changing how we launch games, Wilson said. So basically, see, it covered what a soft launch basically is, right? Because um, not everybody might know what that term is. Soft launch basically is releasing betas and stuff so what the fuck are they talking about releasing what soft launch is like um you release it to a small crowd a select crowd at first do you mean a closed beta closed beta alpha? closed alpha stuff like that so i don't know what the fuck they're talking about by saying they need to change the stuff like that because anthem had a beta didn't know it had, had the alpha it had all that stuff but like as as times went on, like in recent times, they call it a beta, and really it's like just a fucking two weeks before release. You just get to play it. It's like an early access type. It's shit, like early right? access. Aye. It's it's not a real beta. It doesn't fucking test anything. You can't change much in fucking two weeks, yeah. like without a uh, fucking putting all your developers under massive stress and crunches, like which is an also another huge issue just now. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, that type of beta it. is typically for servers. Yeah, it's the it's the it's the test um the um, what was it to see if they need more servers and stuff like that to support no, it's the test the, the strength of the servers how much they can take aye aye but like they're not necessarily doing bug fixes at two weeks before the launch oh no no chance we all knew that anyway but um like aye. these games I really thought they did go through like I thought like, these people had game testers and do you know what I mean had their own employees to do this stuff and then they done they do but he rushed the origin um. He rushed. Yeah, yeah, impatient by the way. Aye, obviously. Yeah, no, they, they they rushed the developers. The developers they wrote a good story and they just couldn't implement a good game to go with it because they've got rushed. Uh, Epic Jester says I alpha tested Anthem on PC and was torn. I felt like I could have been so much more, but they ruined it completely. They should have made an Avatar stylized up stylized open world game instead of making a game that resembles Destiny Two and Ark Survival's evolved love child like i like to look at anthem right so did uh but, but i just knew it was, i just knew it wasn't going to live up to what it was no. what i didn't know i didn't know anything about it i was kind of i was kind of hopeful it was going to be another destiny right who, like, who said that the that the developers had difficulty of the approach and what direction the game wanted to go um maybe somebody said here said that the that the developers had didn't know what direction to go with the game. Mm, I don't remember that being said. Don't remember what Yaldi was saying a minute ago. Aye. Was it? Was it? I never said anything about that. No, I don't no. think that was mentioned. I thought. I think the thing is like fucking. It, I, Anthem to me is like it's been heavily influenced by Destiny. Aye. aye Everything about it, that. man. Heavily aye. influenced by Destiny. That's why and I was. That, that's, that's why I wanted why it to I do well. Up, but, you know, I'm, not, I'm not packing this shit up, man. So it's like Destiny to me, what it was. Because basically, uh, the fuck, all the people I play Destiny way on PlayStation 4, they all go to it. Do you know what I mean? And I was like, I'm going to wait. I don't want, I'm, part of the reason was I didn't really have the money for it at the time, but I wanted to see if it was going to bomb. Do you know what I mean? Because games that come out and they're just like clones of another game or trying to evoke the feel of another game, they never truly do that. And that's where Anthem failed. Uh, all the Destiny players in that flocking tape and going, this isn't a Destiny. Doesn't he, doesn't he feel as good? It was, do you know what I mean? Like, But then again, I didn't play the game, so I don't know. But it fucking bombed massively. And EA are just spouting shite. Now. I think they're just throwing the toys out the pram. Did it even make a lot of money? I, would, I think it massively underperformed. It massively, right, that, yeah. I, I'm, I'm quite surprised about that because normally these games fucking make a lot of money and absolute fail as a video game as a whole but still make a lot of money no you, anthem completely like, like, like let's let's put it this way like i know people like destiny in here my i despise destiny but 
definitely made a shit ton of money, but failed as a video game for me. Literally. Destiny uh, was because, uh, because the amount of content was was available at launch and how they went about with the content and shit like that. Uh, they cut how the away. content was still on the disc when the game was yeah. launched. You know mm. what I mean? But the game I was launched on PS3 before people fucking had like reliable internet connections and all that. Do you know what I mean? Like it was launched that way back. Fucking. I mean, back you know the first 10. Destiny game, right? The Taken King and I think it was an DLC was on the fucking disc. Uh, it was meant to be released as a full game, and then they exactly, for DLC. Ex- exactly. And a lot of developers are doing that, where they make bits for the game and cut it off for DLC. Fuck that, man. Fuck that's, that. that's what developers I mean, do that's, now these that's days. They're, they're making the man. whole game right and cutting certain bits out and flogging it as DLC. I can't stand that shit. Typically, but developers that's not just plan the DLC before they make it. What? I mean, that's, what do you say? That's what happens. Aye, aye. The developers do, but the publishers is the ones that do that. What Scottish guys talking about? I think. Do you know what I mean? Like the developer will say, "This is our game," and then the publisher mm-hmm. will go, "Nah, that's your game. That 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 third boss is your end boss. These other two bosses are DLC bosses. That's what I feel like. Fucking the publishers are like. Do you know what aye. I mean? Get yeah. Because it, it does happen a lot nowadays. There's not a lot of games that come out complete. From start to finish, like no, the only no. one I can remember is fucking in recent memory is God of War. Do you know what I mean? Never played. What a fucking, what a fucking game! It came out polished, game. never had a fucking thing wrong with it. Ready to go, start to finish, brilliant experience. No, I can I can go along with that. You know what I mean? When gate when people when, when developers take their time developing games, but when it's just completely kicked out the fucking door just to meet a deadline, I just can't stand that shit. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it's the EA same way anything else. It doesn't matter if it's about a fucking four, game or a fucking, fucking. Do you know what I mean? There are anything, anything that somebody's making if they make it on a rush, it's not going to be as good as they took the time and fucking put the love into it. Not. Into, no. As I said, EA fucking practically kicked Battlefield Four out the door. If you you guys remember when Aye, I got but they, 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 that's why they're their mainstay games and like. Uh, Pan's gaming says EA are just flunking everything. If they didn't have a monopoly on soccer games and NFL video games, they would be in trouble right now. And I'm fucking. I, yeah, I agree. obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And I've seen, and I've seen, like, I've seen, yeah, uh, even our, no. our sports games as well, like FIFA and shit. FIFA's getting worse, man. I tell you, worse. Mm. They've put the fucking prices of the FIFA points up. I stopped playing like, that. I stopped playing FIFA in uh, and 2015. They, they, they made it impossible. Well, I wouldn't say impossible, but fucking difficult. So difficult for you to trade in, in FIFA Ultimate Team now. I used to trade a lot in that game. Ah, uh, me too, man. By putting price caps on different fucking players. Mate, well, you used to go into fucking uh, footcoins.com and you used to get fucking all oh, your FIFA coins for mega cheap. You get like a million fucking foot coins for yeah, fucking like a fiver, man. Ah, you, can, you can't do that anymore. You can't do that anymore. Yeah. But Dakas, yeah. there's a favour. Um, tell us a wee bit about Spider Man and how the DLCs were and stuff and how much you enjoyed it. Yeah, uh, I don't I don't get into the DLCs. Um, but that it didn't feel like I was missing out. The game was just so well packaged as a whole. Um, from start to finish, I. Didn't even feel like I needed them. If anything, that made me want to buy the DLCs more um, because I just felt like I had so much value for money already from the developers. I, I just kind of... They had my faith in the DLC. And according to what I've heard from reviews, um, it's three standalone kind of story expansions with extra missions and uh, cutscenes, and it sounds well worth the money. I don't even think it's that expensive either. I don't, even think, I don't even think it's 20 quid. I think it's like maybe like £17 or something like that. That's decent for chapters. a DLC, as long as it's going to be a, a, like what you expect for a DLC is like minimum 25 hours. Do you know what but I mean? You're, you're, looking, you guys you're, looking, for, you're looking for like 25 hours worth of content out of a DLC. Do you know? Thunder, move. Um, 25 hours is a bit I steep, man. I, I, I was going to say, I think 25 hours is. I don't, I don't think you'll get 25 hours with the DLC, that's for sure. Um, no. I mean, well, it, it depends what else it adds to it. For the story missions, I think you're talking maybe an extra like six. Like the, the main fucking games like, is barely like 25 hours. Oh, is it? Aye. See, I always use the, I always use the Witcher DLCs as benchmarks. In about fucking 12 hours. <laughs> I've Aye. got Viper's copy of Spider-Man sitting there and I've still not played it. <laughs> oh, it's well yeah. worth it, man. It's really good. Aye, it's I'm definitely taking the title of the I've best Spider-Man, Spider-Man it's the best Spider-Man game. That's what people are calling it, and I've not played it yet. Nah, it's they're, there. they're saying that it's definitely taking the title from Spider-Man Two, anyway. Oh, fucking one million percent, yeah. 
Because uh, that was redeemed. That was that was held in high esteem as the best Spider-Man game. It's it's well exceeded that. Yeah, well exceeded that. It's amazing. Can he beat I, the I, PlayStation I One Spider-Man game? Oh, sorry, you can't beat it. <laughs> can he can he touch oh. the ground? Because the, oh, it's say it's oh. toxic gas. Toxic I don't give a fuck. fuck. I played that over and over. I was a Wayne. <laughs> I was a Wayne. I, I loved it. Don't game. judge me. I, I even found the secret. <laughs> Secret thing in the crane where you see Goblin's cave. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't know yeah. that was a thing. I like the designs in that. It was very comic booky. I like the Venom. I like, I like the designs. I like the, the costumes. Pyramid. Was there not like a God mode costume and shit in that? Like... Aye, the costumes were I can't awesome. remember the I first Spider-Man the game one. I played, but I do, I do remember playing it. And I remember just loving swinging about. I'm just pure addicted to just swinging about. I went into the trading mode and just swung about. It was so much fun. If you get that Spider Man game on that Vipers gave you, you'll literally just swing about collecting right. everything. And you won't even notice that you're doing it. Yeah, I swear. That, that, like the that, first few that's missions the best finished. Bit about it. Right. The, first, that the first week, couple yeah. missions, and it was like, here's, here's all these fucking backpacks that you can go collect. I was like, I'm going to go do that the now then. Aye, yeah. Peter Parker left his backpacks around the like, city. Oh, by the way, there's like 40 more things around the city that you can go and do. And I was like, all right then. Peter Parker's left camera stuck to us. <laughs> left camera stuck to us. Why is he doing that? Is he a fucking? That's that's what he does. <laughs> if you never watched the fucking cut, if you never watched the TV series of Spider Man. He sticks takes his camera. It takes pictures. Of so that's how he makes his money. Yeah. All right. Do you know right? Spiders. Right, mate. Spider Do you know spiders mate with their hands on their front? No, I've never mated with a what? spider before. Spy, spy. You know how spiders mate? How? They've got wee arms on the front of their, their body and it shoots out white flared. That's where the idea of Spider-Man came from. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if he's taking the piss or no. I'm not taking the piss. That's a true thing. That's a true thing, by the way. That's a true thing, man. I'm not taking the piss. Uh, Look sure. up. That's how, that's how spiders mate. Spider Man just cut a boot like that with their fucking guns. Sex offender, that's what he is. Spiders like that, suns out, guns out. (laughs) Fire it everywhere. That's how how spiders mate. I'm not kidding you, man. They've got two arms in the front of their body and they do something with their two arms on female spiders. Yeah, I'll do what you got to say. I think that's more of a just a convenience thing. I don't think that's what was uh, intended. <laughs> no. back, in, back in the age of um, every sort of different type of man that you could get, Spider Man was inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> Rhino I, Man. We've got Captain to switch away and talk about something else just quickly. We've got a few more subjects to get through before we finish. Escalated up. Escalated quickly, don't. We're going to watch. <laughs> we're going to watch a trailer um, from a game called Away. This game oh, really? looks fucking brilliant. Yes, we are. I'm going to mute you. I've use. never actually seen it. I'll turn you down. I'll no mute you. Right? There you go. This is Away. Just, it this looks fucking fantastic. I was Away. It has the appearance of paradise. I knew the way to see you again. From the white sand beaches to the mighty treetops, it appears still and peaceful. Oh, this is the documentary closer, game, isn't it? Yeah, is yeah. More to this it's than meets the eye. It's not good, David Attenborough fucking narrating everything. No, I know, it's done. Every oh. living being is locked in a deadly competition. It's for PC, so there'll be a mod, hopefully. Ahead, Luck's a land of great danger for some. Some of so. And opportunities <laughs> for others. But our world has changed. He even rides, he rides a deer and all that to be possum, man. He's fucking... He's conquered the world. Talk about that, yeah. You're not talking about that little possum game where you run through trees. Look, there he's there riding a deer, man. Fucking on yourself, mate. Oh, it's got combat. Oh, oh can, can, I, can I bring up a game real quick? Of course you can. Give two seconds to be talking about this one first, right? <laughs> <laughs> ah, you can talk about your possum game. Don't worry, I'll let you talk about it. The possum game, away, it's called the survival series. It looks fucking brilliant. There's a spider ready to fucking shoot. Like White goat, it's, it's, front, it's front arms, man. <laughs> but aye, that looks brilliant. Did anybody ever play Tokyo Jungle? No. No? Because no. that's that's one of the reasons I like to play it. Like, see, when I first seen it, I was like, yes, a jungle game where you can choose all the different animals, man, but you could only go to possum. But uh, like, it does look really fucking good. It looks like Tokyo Jungle was a game set in, it was just three different levels. You could go between like a city biome, a, a zoo biome, and like the train station, right? And you could play Enton. 
any animal, like a crocodile, a lion, a tiger, a fucking, a sheep, you name it, you could play it, right? And um, that's what I thought when I seen that. But this one, is, it's set around about one animal, and it looks as if there's got to be so much more content, so much more to do as the animal, man. And I'm fucking, I'm buzzing to play this, man. I'm like, yeah, it's my wee fucking possum. See, looking at it, though, it kind of just looks like a linear story game, kind of boring. Mm-hmm, that's why I agree, I agree. I, I like a good linear story game if it's done right. Do you know what I mean? Like, if it's done right... It... I love that one second of combat, though, against that little other thing that was... The scorpion. Aye, the scorpion. Aye, it's does like, got... Like, here there's... we go, man. Fucking God of War combat in a Thunder, squirrel game. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> you need to tell him sternly. You, you can only just push him away. Like, go away the new, go away the new. So many times. Like, take a telling, man. That's what they got. They're going to get the RSPCA to swat you. Mate. Let me get Is that a duck? I'm guessing that's a duck. He loves me. He's right, but fucking, he just needs to calm down sometimes. We'll be finished in 10 minutes and I'll take you out for a pee. Calm down. After the stream, we can promise that the dog isn't going to get battered. Right? <laughs> <clears throat> How, do you really think I'd do that to my fucking boy? I mean, come on. Yeah, you never know. Have a fucking, a bit of decency, man. But I, away, away looks fucking really, really good. It looks really, really, really good. I can't wait to get my hands on it. When does it say it's released? Um, click that link again. When does it say it's released? I didn't catch it. I didn't catch when it said it was released either. It'll be in the description. I'll no need to watch the video again. Well, I've been hyped for that through. Um, this no, it's just an announcement trailer. It's no telling us when it's coming out. Boo. Not for a while, considering mm. the run animations kind of look janky. I I you'll be talking at least a year for that game, but I I can't wait for it, man. It's good. Can I bring up something before I forget? Yes, bash in, son. Is it there's a game called um what's it called um Bio Mutant or something? Oh, Bio Mutant. It's a it's it's a game based on fucking hamsters with swords and guns. I don't know what it's I don't know what they're I don't know what they oh, are. Oh yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I think I do. Yeah, it was showed at E3 two years ago, I think. Still not out. Still not out, but it's coming out this year. I think. Aye, I think. Planned Aye. release date is 2019. Oh, here's the trailer. Oh, next year then. Wait, no, this Dark year. Souls I don't even know what year it is. Fuck me, dude. But uh, you can create your own wee... Your own wee... Your own wee, your own wee um, fucking hamster thing. I don't know what... I don't well, know. There's, a, there's a wee... Grasshopper. Are you two still growing about that possum game? Fuck me. No, no, we're watching the trailer of the Biomutant. Alright. Oh, it's Hamster Dark Souls. I just realised it's sorts with soul. Oh, but the sorts we still fuck. Not thoughts with soul. He looks like the wee cunt of a monster hunter. I, I was thinking that or Lost Planet. It's like an a post apocalyptic place. Oh, these guns fucked. Oh, no, he's okay. riding. Oh, I definitely riding. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting things in half. Rules of nature. You died. Collect your souls. <laughs> Is that a fucking sea mine that he's using as a mace? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Aye. <laughs> so you're a riding cat. See that looks fucking class. Can't see what he's doing, man. Wait for reviews, I like, like a... That does look really good. It's right down a hand. Aye, I was going to say that, is that a fucking hand? It's a big robot. It's a handgun. <laughs> it's a handgun. Guns, <laughs> guns of the Patriots. Patriots. When is this release date? March. Last March. Is this? Is it? Is that game out? I don't know. I think so. 
don't think so. It does look good if it suits It says them. on Google that it's a quarter four of, of 2019. Alright, okay, so run about Christmas time just before Christmas, cool. Right, bring it back to the camera screens. Um, pretty much Fuck all we've got left to talk about the night is the last subject on the thing, and that's The Witcher for Netflix has finished its filming. It just needs to reshoot a few scenes and then go through the editing process. I, I don't know, like, I'm I'm, I'm with you, Yaldi, and then I'm no, right? Like, I really don't like who they've cast as Geralt, and I don't think I'll ever believe he's Geralt. Is that is that the cunt that fucking plays Superman? Yeah, Henry Cavill, his name is yeah. I. It's very aggressive. No, well, like... when you don't know somebody, is that the cunt that plays Superman? <laughs> then you, you use that kind of phrase, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> is that that cunt that plays Superman? But I like. Are you looking for oh, anybody man. here looking forward to the Netflix series, or what, what's your thoughts I, on it? I'm just interested <laughs> to see what it's all about. To be fair, it's about the Witcher. <laughs> oh, no, see, what, see what it's going to be. I think it will so follow. Never finished a Witcher game. There's no way. I think it will follow. Um, Witcher 2 storyline than rather than the Witcher 3 ankle start run about halfway through the second game just before mm-hmm. you fucking do the big fucking battles at the end and get in with the king and all that and then it'll it'll, it'll go five years later or it's ten years later do you know what I mean at some point during the series and cut to fucking I don't know I don't know what to expect of it I really don't but who they've cast as Geralt annoys me what about you Dan cast did you think about it I think they should have cast a Polish I, I, think, he's a good, I think he's a good day. He's yeah. a good actor, but he doesn't look anything like him. That's my that's my problem. Like, there's so many better actors out there, like that could play Geralt that look like him as well, and and are good actors. Like, um, where's is it there what forty kicking about with your man? He looks pretty alright. Aye, Henry Cavill. He, 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 he's a good actor, right? But um, I don't think he's the right man for the job. I really don't. Henry Cavill as Geralt kind of just looks like Legolas. <laughs> <laughs> it does, it does, you're right, it does, um, I'm trying to find a picture of him really quickly. Henry Cavill as Geralt. Right. Images, not a video for fuck's sake. Oh, 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 hold on a minute, I've not seen that one before, that one actually looks not too bad. Doesn't it? Aye. Mm. That's the one I was just looking at. Eh? That's the one they released at first, and it was fucking terrible. Too clean. It's way too clean. Aye, and then that one, that one looks actually really good. Right, I take back some of what I said before. <laughs> <laughs> like that one does look... Let's just wait for it to come out, and then... <laughs> but there, <laughs> we'll he's, the, there he's there with black hair as Geralt. Is he doing with black? That's no him That's as Geralt. someone else. Uh I think that's some something. Oh, that's is that no Henry Cavill? Uh, ah, that's, him. that's no, Henry that's Cavill. Me. But that one, that does look really good. It does look really good. Aye. I, I think that's before and after, like post effects. When is this supposed to be coming out anyway? Um, this is meant to be coming out October. October, October this year. October this year. They don't have a date for it, but October oh, on um, Netflix. Aye, on Netflix. The Veer Mark. Is he going to speak in a Polish accent? <laughs> no, they'll be speaking in English. No, that's got to be fucking unrealistic, man. <laughs> but this, he speaks in a, he speaks in an American accent in the game. How's that what? unrealistic? Geralt speaks with an American accent in the game. It was Polish people that made the game. After Polish law and stuff like that. But nothing in the game alludes to the Polish. Nothing at all. Nothing. Like the like the the accents in the game. You've got an English accent. An American accent. Only Geralt has the fucking really get the American accent. You've got Welsh, English, and Scottish and Irish. Like the dwarfs are Scottish. Scottish are the dwarfs. Scottish are the dwarfs. A lot of the peasants are Northern Irish. Do you know what I mean? A lot of the upper class folk are English, and the middle class are like Irish and a wee bit of Scottish all mixed in together. But I like it. It's still. It's still. Could do a, a bit of work, but that second one we looked at there, man, that looks a lot better. It looks a lot better than the fucking the first one they released to him. They looked, they looked terrible. They looked like a fucking, <laughs> looked like a baby girl. Do you know what I mean? As if he'd fucking he'd just been spat out. Like here's a brand new witcher. <laughs> like Geralt's meant to be like 
nobody really knows the age of Geralt, but they know he's over 200 years old. He's fucking ancient, do you know what I mean? So, making him look more gruff and rough, that's a good call, I think. I think it's a really good call. I'm looking forward to it a wee bit more now that he's made believable. Years, do you think he wouldn't be so shit at combat? Yeah. <laughs> I know he swings that sword like a baton. I fucking, I think Geralt's fucking a great character, man. I mean, how many people do you know that can fucking deflect arrows three in a row? Ting, 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 ting. Master, uh, Master Chief. Not when Viper's controlling it. <laughs> Viper controlling it, man. You'd never live that down, wouldn't you know? <laughs> <laughs> Never. For context, Scottish guy, Viper tried to beat the tutorial of The Witcher 3, failed to do so, then his girlfriend took over and did it for him. It sounds like you're, you're explaining uh, you sound like you're explaining something that happened in Dark Souls, basically. <laughs> it was like Could watching not somebody the tutorial. <laughs> first, first time as well, yes. Yeah, Vanessa done it first time as well, aye. But yeah, guys, what, um, hold on. That's all the topics we had time oh, for tonight. He's playing his standards, fuck's sake. I was trying to put quote seven in. Oh, man. Yeah. An enemy has been slain. See, when I had this on the rank screen for ages as well, man, and we didn't have the cameras up. Well done, Trust. But aye, that's, <laughs> that's all the topics we had time for tonight. We were going to be back in five to ten minutes. We're going to be playing Jackbox. I just need to take a stream down, change the title, stuff like that, and we'll be straight back up. But we're going to be playing Jackbox for about an hour. And um, be sure to check out our stepsister podcast on the Fault Chronicles. I'll put the link in chat just now. And if you're watching this on YouTube, the link to the Fault Chronicles channel is in the description below. But thank you very much to Dacast for joining us. Thank you for joining us, son. Thank you, true Scottish guy, and welcome back to Twitch. And yeah, all the time. It was a pleasure as always, son. Thank you for joining us. And we will see you all in 10 minutes for Jackbox, folks. Bye. Fuck, I need to stay in this party to see all this, man. Who built this network on Scott's lips? Ah! I was sitting there, I'm sitting there like, up your grimacing, man. I'm like, ah. You just wait till probably Scott's lips on this podcast and just totally fucking murder like eardrums, man.